Here with us now for an on-the-ground report is Pastor Steve Santos. He is the senior pastor at Calvary Chapel West Side there in Lahaina. Pastor, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Thanks, first of all, for joining us. So just to kind of tell people, we were hoping to get you up on video, but uh, right now communication is difficult in that area. Talk about some of the challenges, even just getting phone calls out. Well, that's for the first, probably it was almost a week with no phone service, uh, maybe a text message here or there kind of things, and some of those didn't even go through. Uh, then finally text started going through, but they would still spin, for, you know how that goes, and then, uh, but on a mass scale. So there was no communication on the, on the west side uh, where it all happened. And, uh, and all Internet down, I, people have been calling and texting and emailing, and there's no way to communicate, you know, Facebook messaging. And so my daughter's been doing a lot of that there in Colorado for mm. us trying to help keep communications there. How devastating is this fire? We have seen the video. We've seen the pictures, but you're there. You smell it. You see it. You talk to the people. Uh, just put it into perspective for us, please. Pastor, are you about still it. there? Yeah. Okay, it's go ahead. It's hard to even talk about it. Um, it's, it's beyond, beyond. We were in Thailand five days after the tsunami hit. We had tickets to go and help build an orphanage there before the tsunami. And we went, and we were there in the middle of it. And this, not to downplay that, but this is, this is burned, you know. And they're, there they piled up bodies in, in caskets and refrigerator trucks. Here they're looking for teeth. And, uh, I mean, that's where the dogs are there. The bodies, there's no bodies to be found. They're, they're right now, they've found many, but the, they're trying, they're looking now through just the, for teeth and things that the dogs will sniff out. And then uh, I just now talked with a friend of mine who's a pastor down at South Maui Calvary Chapel and uh, a friend of his that had, had the boat and because uh, many people jumped in the water to get away from the flames and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he had said, uh, and things change along the way, but this guy doesn't exaggerate. I know him well. And he said that he'd heard that, that, that he, the guy had picked 180 bodies out of mm. the water that had washed up on Koalavi and down that way. It's on the island across the way to the south, which is the way the currents would take them. Right. Past but I know they were searching for a long time and not finding a lot, but they were all blowing down there. Pastor, you were telling me uh, just before we came on here that your nephew, I think it is, is a firefighter there. He's staying with you. He is obviously working while his house, his, his home is damaged as well. It's burned down, non-existent. Yeah. Uh, it, it, his home is, is gone. It looks like a bomb went off. It looks like a bomb went off. It's not just d down. I mean, and not just burned. There's like there's some that are burned. But most that are burned are gone completely. Mm. Uh, it's so, you guys on the mainland have seen more than we've seen, probably with all the videos and things like that. But uh, but driving through town and being able to get in down there into our area, um, it's you, you know, people are broken. They're lost. Their loved ones. You know who knows how many. Because children couldn't get out. The power lines were, were or the power was out before the power lines went down. And so there was, uh, they, but people were working at the hotels. And so they were, their children were in town, you know, in their homes, and they were you know, and playing around because school was out. Wow. Because of the power outage. So you know, they're looking for children. It's, it's devastating. 